All right, this next one is the A minor, the jazz melodic minor scale. The whole idea about the jazz melodic or A minor, the jazz version of the melodic minor scale is that it has the orange F sharp and it has the red G sharp. So we're adding those two notes. The orange one is, a, is fairly spicy, but the red one is the spicier one. So if we were to count through our alphabet, we call it the scale or the musical alphabet from A, because we're in the key of A, starting on A as one. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six to get the orange. That's a special added note to the A minor triad. A minor triad is the three main letters that make up an A minor chord, A, C, and E. If you add in these other color tones, it becomes more of the other colors in the scale. So the other colors, the orange six, F sharp, it's a raised six, not a flattened six. A raised six is F sharp, the flattened six is the red F. We're not using the red F in this scale, we're just using the orange F sharp. Like the Dorian in the other one, if you watch the other video. This is has that same tone, but it doesn't use the G that was in Dorian, instead it uses a raised G, a G sharp, the red G sharp, which is very spicy, we call it the leading tone because there's one fret right behind A, it often wants to push us back into the A to feel resolved. This is the most resolved note, the A, and the least resolved note is gonna be that G sharp. So they're gonna wanna go back and forth between what we call the leading tone, the seventh G sharp, and the most resolved A. You notice A is a higher octave, the eight, as the lowest A. So let's look at jamming this on the guitar. A jazz melodic minor. We're gonna start going up the A string to find all our letters. You know what, I missed one. There is a red G sharp. Let's put that in. So, drawing out your own charts, if you get one of these blanks from my booklets, you can write them out and that helps to reinforce your memorization when you draw your own charts. The colors really help us with pattern recognition. Um, a lot of charts are out there, they're, they're, they're not really showing you the harmony. They may do it in a mathematical sense and that's fine, but it's, it's pretty complicated stuff if, if you're not um, using pattern recognition elements and I find that color is really, really helpful for a lot of us to, to, to pull out the patterns. Because if you play the blue notes, that's gonna be in harmony. The green is a little less, the orange is getting more tense, and the red is getting really tense. But there's different organizations of all these letters and notes or, or frets on the fretboard. So we give them letters and we number them and we organize them this way, but the color system helps you stay in harmony and find notes that are gonna match your um, song in a system that, that kind of makes sense. Now you can do this in, in like music theory classes and all that, but I find the color system to be extremely helpful. And I've seen students soloing, like making up really cool solos that they're really excited about on like their first lesson, which is kind of pretty, pretty impressive. I'm, I've been really, really pleased with it. So here's the idea. I want you guys to go up the A string we're gonna learn the pattern of A jazz melodic minor. So A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So those frets, you can use your system here. Remember your marker dots are three, five, seven, nine, and double dot 12. That's why I put the dots on the side here to help you recognize those. So fret zero, fret two, fret three, fret five, fret seven, fret nine, fret 11, and fret 12. I'm gonna play that here on the guitar. So A is open, B is fret two, C is fret three, D is fret five, E is fret seven, F sharp is fret nine, G sharp is fret 11, and A is fret 12. So I'm gonna try making a solo out of this, just one string, it's a one string challenge. That's a really good way to start. Um, Cause as guitar players can sometimes get lost in, in all this stuff, but if we just stick with one area, one pattern or one string, um, 
that is the whole alphabet scale. And those alphabet letters just kind of go all over the guitar with different strings. Um, and you can play them cross strings or you can play them up and down one string. Let's try the one string jam. So I'm gonna play blue notes on the string, A, C, E, and A. That's an A minor triad. A, C, E, A. It's good to sing them because it helps us recognize in our mind and, and in, our, um, in our body kind of what we're playing and connecting with the sound. Um, sometimes we can dissociate from the sound of what we're playing if it's just mathematical numbers and we're not really connecting to it maybe on an emotional or um, like an, an audiating type of way. So singing it, you know, there's a lot of great advice out there that I've found that really works is sing what you play, right? So sing, sing your letters, sing your frets, sing whatever it is you're doing, and it can help you focus. It's so easy with our focus sometimes to be thinking about something else. But if you're saying what you're doing or singing what you're doing, it keeps your focus on what you're saying, I find anyways. So you can practice that. And then once you get familiar with it, you can jam around. So now the green notes, we've got the Bs, which is fret two, and you've got the D, which is fret five. So when you play those color tones over A minor, they have that green sound. Now, if you play, there's only one orange in this one, that's fret nine, F sharp. If you play it, it has that orange spice tension. And it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's called the sixth interval in the scale if you count your, your alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F. That's six. Happens to be F sharp, to be what we call the Ray six, instead of the F natural, which would have been down, that would have been the, the red one. It would have been a flat six. Again, this is lots of theory. You can just focus on the colors and the letters and, and you're gonna find notes that match or notes that don't, right? Because that's the color spectrum. The greatest match is blue and the least match is red. So blue, green, orange, red is your spectrum from resolved in harmony to tense and out of harmony, red. So I'm gonna play an A minor chord. That's just a combination of the notes A, C, and E all over your guitar, right? instrument for that matter. And if we were to solo, you can play them different ways. Try to make it like singing. I like to shake the note with vibrato. And then I make different patterns like skipping around. I might use cool tricks like the rest stroke, making it a little bit louder and harder. Or I might pick softer. Just experiment with sound, right? Of those notes, playing it in different ways, but making a pattern. I might do some pull-offs. If you know these tricks, you pick the note and you pull your finger down. And you get these cool sounds. Let's pick a note and slide to the other one. You know, guys, if you're playing and you're getting really sore, chances are your guitar is not set up very well. A lot of guitars are set up terribly um, from the factories. They often just push them out there with high action. And then all these beginners take guitar lessons or even people have been playing for years and they think like, wow, guitar is so painful. Well, some guitars are really painful, but I set my guitars up really low. I, I loosen the strings. Um, you can detune them. You can capo them up. You can take them to a guitar tech or repair person who lowers the height of the strings. And that makes a huge difference. Um, it's much less tension on your hands. So there's a lot of like little tricks that people have no idea about. Um, they just assume maybe that guitar is extremely painful because you've played this guitar that has strings that are way high up and it's super tense and it digs into your fingers way more than, than it needs to. So that was a bit of a tangent. <laughs> but back to what we're doing. A jazz melodic minor. So now I'm gonna play all over the fretboard. You can find your blues. play them in a system or a pattern up and down but you know musically usually things aren't just totally linear up and down sometimes they're kind of a little bit little patterns of mixing things back and forth 
but you have a system here with the lava game, the Fred is Lava, that if you hit blue, A, C, and E notes, you're in harmony with the A minor chord, the resolve sound of the key. And then if you hit the greens, the Bs and Bs and Ds, they, they sound um, a little less results, right? And then you've got the orange. The orange one is really cool, the F sharp. Anywhere you play an F sharp note, you can have that interesting F sharp sound. That's the six, so A minor six. But then you can also have an A minor with a major seven if you play the G sharp. That's that. It almost sounds like a, one of those spy movies or something. Um, it has a very mysterious sound. that in a game or in a movie. So that has that really interesting sound in it, the jazz melodic minor. Again, it's A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Wherever you can find those notes, I'm gonna start from the biggest string. I've got E, F sharp, G sharp, then I'm going down to A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So that was just playing it in order, but that just sounds like a scale. That's just like listing ingredients. You can do that, and it's great to practice that, and maybe learn what fingers to use. There's different systems for doing that, which is helpful. But then you want to like get into a creative mode too, right? Um, so you have to kind of free, free some of the rigid ideas of needing to always go forwards and backwards, like make it random a little bit, but make some kind of pattern out of these notes. Pick a couple of notes, one, two, three notes in the, in the key, the color system on this chart. Try to make a song like you're singing, make the guitar sing. guitar solo in the A jazz melodic minor scale. So this is a silver tone guitar. Pretty cool, eh? A little bit of delay on there. shameless jam there but you know what it's so much fun like you can be free to play you don't always have to just follow an exact pattern of of, of way someone else does music you don't always have to copy people note for note it's cool to learn other people's way of doing things but like if you treat music as an art you can also creatively rearrange the notes or the elements or the ingredients so if this is like your ingredients in a meal you don't have to follow the recipe note for note because it's not dangerous. <laughs> the only thing that's going to happen when you mess around with notes in the guitar is it just may sound kind of interesting or strange. But you'll learn from that experience, right? Um, so rearrange the letters. Try different patterns. Try to make it musical. But remember, it's not just any random note. There is a system. It's the scale. And the color system, the lava game, the Fred is Lava system, helps you to, to choose whether you want more re resolved blues, less resolved greens, the tenser oranges, or the really tense reds. And all these different combos make all these scales that are in pretty much every song, or all the songs out there that we listen to. That was a long jam, but I had fun and I enjoyed explaining it. So if you enjoy watching it, great. If you don't, that's okay. Um, have a great day, guys.